How is it September already? It only feels like yesterday I was going to my first car boot sale of the year. But there we go. This year has flown by. And it'll soon be autumn, even though today is pretty nice. So welcome back to the channel. If you are new here, my name is Chris. I am a part-time reseller on eBay. As you can see, Packaging Towers is getting out of control. And given most of what I sell goes in sort of plastic bags like this, I am starting to think if this is all a bit unnecessary. But I like to think at some point I'll find something that will require excessive packaging materials. But until then, I'll keep using these. Anyway, this is my sort of monthly sales update video. August has been a pretty good month. Now, if you saw my last sales video covering July, you would have learned that I tried to put a bit more effort in to try and get the sales because I was having a bit of a sort of sticky patch. It's listing stuff, selling similar, um, sending out offers, not really getting much in the way of a sort of like response. Fortunately, August has been a lot better, but I have maintained the consistency. So listing at least five items a day, sending out offers to the sort of eligible listings, as well as selling similar on some more sticky items that haven't really caught up, been caught up in the algorithm, so to speak. And on the whole, my persistence has paid off and I've had some pretty good sales. So as always, I won't get through everything because I'll be here all day. And now I've had a range of sales from about a fiver up to my best sale ever. Now, typically with these videos, that will be sort of shared at the end, but I'm going through in chronological order. So I'll show you in a little bit. But yeah, my best sale on eBay to date. Not sure how I'm going to beat it, but you never know what you're going to find out about. So without further ado, let's go through August sales. I'll just talk you through why I bought the item, um, how well it did, how long it took to sell, and crucially, would I pick it up again going forward on my reselling journey? So. Here we go. First sale of August. I got my phone here to remind me what has sold. So if I look down, that's what I'm looking at. Um, pair of run and fly unisex jeans. Now I picked these up, wow, a long time ago in a charity shop in Totnes, I believe. I think they were a fiver. List of them instantly had about four watches. I thought, yes, they're going to sell well. Well, six months went past and nothing. I only put them up for 20 quid. Wasn't asking the earth. They just just hung around for ages. Now, I probably should have taken them off, sold similar, and they probably would have sold a bit more quickly. But for some reason, they hung around. Eventually sold, £16 plus postage. Off they went. Would I pick them up again? Possibly. But the demand just doesn't really seem to be there for these. So, uh, possibly not. But anyway, it, it was a start, right? It was a start. Bit better. This is a Marks & Spencer's... Um, it's not St. Michael. What was it? No, it's a luxury moon wall. Put that logo in here. Anything moon wall is worth investigating. Um, rust coloured blazer. It's size 42, so a nice size. I paid a pound for this in a charity shop. That's gone for £25 plus postage. Oh, yeah. So I sold some true religion jeans. Now, I picked these up from a car boot sale. They were filthy. They were like really nasty. Um, just dirty and something like a sort of, I guess it was a clearance person, but. They've been through the wars. I uh, put them through the washing machine a few times and they actually came out okay. Couple of marks I couldn't get out. Made that very clear in the listing. But I only paid 50p for these. They come for £30 plus postage. And to be fair, they were quite a small women's size. So I'm happy to get 30. Obviously, larger sizes can do a lot better. But yeah, 30 quid from 50p. Happy. Super happy. So Rex. So this is uh, Disney, obviously, Toy Story Rex. He was uh, just a... Um, plastic figure. His tail came off, his arms were articulated. I think I paid £3 for him at a car boot sale. Two or three pounds, something like that. He's gone for £15 plus postage. Sold a couple of Hot Wheels cars, again just from the collection, just sort of thinning down. This is a Hot Wheels cool combi on a short car, that's gone for £8 plus postage. And then we've got a Hot Wheels uh, Subaru Impreza uh, treasure hunt, that's gone for £12 plus postage. There's one more! I sold a Mini as well, so this is a Morris Mini from 2008, and uh, that's gone for £9 plus postage. So again, I would have paid like a pound back in the day, so you can't really say it's a pound because of inflation, I guess. But look, I just want to shift them, that's the going rate, I'm happy they've gone, gone to a new home. We're all good, it's all good. Um, right, drum roll. My best sale ever on eBay, so far. So far, so I picked these up from a copy of sale back in, I think July, I think they were July. I paid £6 for these, and these have gone for 
£250 plus postage. So these are the, to give them their full title, the Nike Nike Air Zoom Tiempo Legend Ronaldinho Gold R10 football boots. Whew. From 2006, they have sort of like Kevlar um, lining. Obviously the Air Zoom is a more desirable football boot anyway. But these being the Ronaldinho 10s just took it to the next level. So like I said, paid £6. Had them up for 250 probably would have taken 200 ish but they sold for full price. And they've gone on the GSP over to America, and best of all, they've left positive feedback. So it's all good. Incredible. The thing that's a little bit disheartening, and this is going to sound weird, but I don't know if I'm going to top that. Given that I mainly buy clothing and footwear, I don't know what I'm going to buy or find that's going to beat that price. Hopefully something, hopefully I can find something, but at the moment, given what I sort of, not specialise in, but given what I typically pick up, nothing big or bulky, I don't know what's going to beat that, but hopefully something will. But for now, phenomenal sale, absolutely phenomenal. Um, when you take off tax and fees, bit of a kicker, then you sort of left with like £140, but it's still a good price, right? And like, I had no idea when I bought them that they would have been that good, but there we go. There we go. And they were bought, say, from a table in the car boot sale. They were just plonked on the table about two hours in. And I just came in and, and bought them. So miracles can happen. So, yeah. I'd love to think I can get a better sale than that one day. But I don't know what it's going to be. Anyway, moving on. Actually, this is a good sale as well. This is a vintage Orvis. What do they call this thing? The Zambezi Cotton Twill Travel Jacket. This was bought from a charity shop uh, not too long ago. Didn't take too long to sell. I think I paid eight or nine pounds for it in the charity shop. Um, that's gone for 72 pounds plus postage. I believe it was up for 80 and I sent out a 10% offer and they accepted it, so that's all good. So 72 pounds, sorry, 72 pounds plus postage, which I put at nine pounds, good. Um, and I got positive feedback too, so we're all good. Sold a pair of Vans. These are like a mid-top with the sort of uh, the Vans graphic around the outer sole. I think I only paid a pound for these. They've gone for £14.20 plus postage. I think I had them up for 18 Took an offer. Happy with that. Thomas Pink. I don't have much luck with shirts. I don't know what it is about cotton shirts, but I just don't have much luck with them. And that's influenced my buying decisions. So now with cotton shirts, I typically leave them. But linen shirts, or cotton linen blend, I would investigate. This is a Thomas Pink 100% linen, um, like a formal shirt, paid... Four pounds, I believe, for this in the charity shop. Twenty-five pound plus postage, and that sold the same day. So maybe I could have pushed a bit more. But well, that seems to be where the sort of sell-through rate, sell -through rate. That seems to be the sort of going rate for this. But I'm more than happy with that. So yeah, linen shirts, much sort of more premium material than cotton. Keep an eye out for them. You can typically feel them. There's something about linen that feels more. It feels more coarse, um, but it is a much more sort of desirable material. So yeah, linen shirts. Absolutely. Cotton shirts. Yeah. This was cool. So I bought this in a charity shop locally. Um, it's a charity shop that typically prices things up. Anything that's like branded. Whew, crazy price. They love weird fish to the point where they'll price it almost at RRP. Don't ask me. Um, yeah, someone's got a weird fish like thing in that shop. But this was a unbranded... Um, I'll, put, I'll put the picture in here. So it's from the film um, Time Cop with Jean-Claude Van Damme. I believe from the sort of mid-90s, I think it was. I think. Um, just a, a branded vest printed on a Haynes tag. Um, I think I paid £3.50 for it. And I saw, well, I did some research when I got home, that the t-shirts can do really well. This is a size large. I think I put it up for 50 quid. Someone offered me 42 a couple of weeks later took it from £3.50 that is fantastic so yeah proof that vintage t-shirts and stuff can sell well on eBay because again typically they just kind of sit around well, I don't know why I don't know why but say film memorabilia can sell well there's a proof awesome awesome oh this one's been hanging around for ages again a brand that should do a lot better than it does or maybe it does and I'm just unlucky with it, is Gant. Premium brand, a bit like crew clothing, a bit like, I guess, Tommy Hilfiger to a degree, but like those brands, 
just doesn't sell that well. So I think I paid a fiver for this in a charity shop ages ago, back last year. Had it up for maybe 40 quid, brought the price down, 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 down. Finally sold, 20 pound plus postage. It was big, it took up a lot of room. I just was just happy to see it gone. P.S. Paul Smith. Again, not something I typically find that often. Um, I know it's sort of, if you're up country, it seems to be more sort of populous. But down here, not so much. So this is a P.S. Paul Smith. It's like a, almost like a chore shirt, but um, a formal chore shirt. Does that make sense? But it had like lots of pockets in it and it's 100% cotton. I paid, I think I paid six pounds for this in a charity shop on a bit of a whim. That sold for 25 pound plus postage on the GSP over to Ireland. So again, probably could have asked a little bit more as it did sell super quickly, but it was only a medium, so I kind of factored that into the sort of the cost and the desirability. But yeah, it sold pretty well. So yeah, I picked that up again for sure. But given it is Paul Smith, typically find it is priced higher as, as, as it is like a known like brand. So, but yeah, it's out there. If you can find it for a good price, it's worth investing in. Oh, this one's been for sale for a while as well. So this is a vintage Polo Ralph Lauren, uh, like a corduroy jacket. I can't remember what I paid for this at the car boot. It's definitely from the car boot. I remember buying it, but I can't remember what I paid for it. Maybe a fiver. But I know it had some pretty big stains on it. Um, some like, uh, it wasn't coffee, but it was like a brown stain. Don't get any ideas. It wasn't that sort of brown. But just like, um, I don't know. It obviously been in contact with something. But I had it up for like 70 quid. Cleaned it up. Cleaned it up nice, proper. Um, had it up for like 70 quid. Had a couple of stains remaining. I mean, made that very clear in the description. Just no interest. No, plenty of watches, as always. Plenty of low ball offers, as always, but no one really serious. Bought the price down, down, down. Finally sold, £45 plus postage. So from a fiver, more than happy with that. But if it was in immaculate condition, you could probably ask a lot more. But then again with Ralph Lauren, it either sells really well or it doesn't sell at all. So i definitely pick it up again. But i just got to bear in mind that it might sit around for ages. Ages and ages and ages. So lesson learned there. These are a pair of Skechers, uh, Skechers the, what they call the Go Run Ultra R running shoes. More like a sort of trail running shoe. Only paid a pound for these, but they were filthy. They were super filthy. I don't know why the charity shop didn't give them a quick scrub, but anyways. Only a pound. Again, had these up for 30 quid. Skechers, <sighs> I didn't get on with Skechers that well. Sandals and stuff with Skechers seems to do quite well, but trainers, I think because the trainers are always discounted in what like, new so the resale value just isn't as strong as it should be i think i've mentioned this before anyway they gone for 18 pound plus postage it's not the end of the world they were only a size 7 so not a great size but yeah sketches i'm apprehensive about picking them up if the price is more than sort of like two or three pounds which sounds like i'm a cheapskate but ultimately there's so much competition new and used it just sort of the sell through rate just isn't as good as it should be but hey that's just my opinion that's just what i've experienced some people do really well with them so it's all good glad to see this one go <sighs> crikey this is what was this was an antler executive uh like a suit bag so it basically fell folds out to be like a sort of mobile wardrobe for a suit i paid i think i paid a fiver for this in a charity shop locally finally sold for 40 pounds and 49 pence plus postage i think add up for up for 45 and took an offer makes sense or no 10 percent would have been a 10 percent offer it's taken an age to sell taken up a load of room bit of a sod to pack as well because none of my parcel bags it wouldn't fit in so i had to like bin bag i know i know shoot me i had to bin bag wrap it and then put it in like a a larger bag as well like a clear bag it's a pain it's a pain in the bum so i don't think i picked this up again just because it took ages to sell and i don't think the demand really is there for them it's all for a good price from a fiver 40 quid plus is great but nah it's just a bit of a pain every time i had wanted to get to like one of the boxes i had to like move it and put it somewhere oh, just, nah. nah so if you've got room to store this thing i would recommend picking them up you can get it for like 10 or less but otherwise if you've got if you're a bit limited for room like i am i just wouldn't bother I saw some Converse, these are a pair of Chuck Taylor high tops, red, size, what are they, size 10, UK size 10. I find, or have found with Converse, smaller sizes do better. I think there's a higher demand with Converse with women than there is with men, so anything over a sort of 8 or a 9 just doesn't generate as much sort of interest. 
again, just what I found from selling them. But no, these were men's size. Paid a fiver, I believe, at a car boot sale. I know, paid up a little bit. Um, they've gone for £23 plus postage, so not a bad return. Saw some supercars. I think I'm now out of supercars. I do I do enjoy selling them. They're sort of like a sleeper hit. Um, typically not priced up too high in charity shops on the whole. And yeah, good quality shoe. Just make sure the rear logo is like still on and there isn't too much like adverse wear. Adverse? Does that make sense? We'll go with it. Adverse wear. You know when there's like a cliff edge at the back where somebody's got like a slight walk impediment? That's I'll just check for that because they can wear down quite well. Um, I think I paid a four, a four quid. I paid a four quid for these. They gone for £21 plus 49 pence plus postage. Um, sold some Echo Sandals. These are the... Do they have a name? No, they don't. I've just said they're the Wedge Heel Strappy Sandals number no leather. Yep. UK, UK, bleh, UK size seven and a half. Really good size. I think I paid six quid for these in a charity shop. They've gone for £23 plus postage on an offer. So not amazing profit, but not too bad. Didn't take too long to sell, so that's good. Sort of bop it extreme too. Come on. Um, unless they are in fantastic condition, I'm tending not to buy boppets. There's still a demand for them, but unless the condition is really good, they just sit around for ages. And although some listings have managed to get 20 plus, I struggled to get 15 to 18 on these. So if you pay two quid, as long as it works, that's not a bad return. But again, they do sit around a little bit. I know we're not in Q4, but even then I find that there's so many of them on there there's the sort of supply almost outweighs the demand. So good to pick up if you can get one cheap, but I wouldn't, don't rely on it to make you a quick profit because they might hang around for a while. Let's some more Converse. Uh, these are the Chuck Taylor. These are the women's suede shearling mid-calf boots. Yeah, they had a really sort of um, tall um, shaft to them. Loads of violets. Really quite a cool funky boot, really. I paid... Oh, I don't know. What did I pay for these? Maybe four quid at the car boot sale for these? They've gone for £28 plus postage. A uh, good ladies' size. Did think they do a little bit better, but I think they're probably more of a winter boot. But I, look, I had them listed. I, somebody offered me 28 quid. I think they were up for 35. They've been hanging around for a little while. I thought, do you know what? Take it. They're gone. That's a nice profit from four quid. All good. All good. Uh, Timberland Earth Keepers. I bought these from a charity shop, I think in Gloucester. So if you saw my Gloucester video, you would have seen them on there. I uh, paid, hmm, I think I paid four quid for these. They, they were like half price, they were eight quid, and obviously they weren't selling. Four quid, they were a cotton linen blend. They come for 21 pound plus postage. Sold this palm, oh my gosh, I can't pronounce this. Palm Roanoke. It basically, it's a spray deck for a kayak. It wasn't in the best condition. Uh, when I bought it, I got a bit giddy. Didn't notice that some of the flats were like, it was like, it was like a two ply and the, the ply like come apart. So I had to glue that up, made it clear in the listing that it had been used. Um, there was a zip to the sort of neoprene. I think they used it in like salt water so the zip had like rusted away and it just wasn't working. So that went for £40 plus postage. I think I paid seven or eight in a charity shop. So, you know, still a good bit of profit. If you can get one in good condition, you can get 60 plus. But given the condition, 40 plus postage, more than happy with that. So the old Hot Wheels car now. So this is a Hot Wheels hot heap. Uh, what's, what's called a red line, so it would have been from like 1968, so nice bit of age to it. This one unfortunately is missing the windscreen. Wasn't in too bad condition apart from that. It's only gone for £13 plus postage. Now if it had the windscreen intact, could have been 30 plus postage. So with these old, older Hot Wheels cars, condition is everything. Well, two things, condition and colour, but condition really is everything. So yeah, as soon as something breaks, as soon as something's missing, the price just plummets. So a pair of ASICs, or ASICs, however you pronounce them. These are the ASICs Noosa uh, Flight Foam running shoes. I think they're a triathlon shoe, so they've got like some like quick release laces, that sort of thing. Um, don't know why I paid for these either. These have taken an age to sell as well. I think I paid a four or five pounds in a charity shop, 20 pound plus postage, but they have taken an age to sell. I think the condition wasn't quite right. When it comes to like sports shoes and running shoes, condition really is everything. If you want a good price and the condition wasn't quite right so bearing that in mind going forward just make sure the condition is just uh, yeah make sure the condition make sure there's basically minimal wear to the sole otherwise again the price just plummets so bear that in mind so I was on Billabong board shorts I had a sort of a 
phase of buying loads of board shorts for sort of two or three pounds each, but ultimately they're only selling for sort of between 10 and 13 pounds. So, and they can be a little bit sort of sticky to sell as well. So this is, these have gone for 13 pound plus postage, at two pounds, you only paid a pound for them, so that's, not, that's okay. But I think normally I sort of stockpile them through the winter and then try and sell them through the spring. But if they're sort of three or four pounds in a charity shop and I'm getting 10 or 12 pounds back in a sale, not I can invest my money in better ways, if that makes sense. So I think I'll be resisting buying them as much as I can, unless they are like one or two quid and they're a good size. So again, it's all a learning curve, right? It's all a learning curve. Uh, so on another Hot Wheels car, this is a Ferrari F40 uh, from the early 90s. Card was absolutely trashed. Made it very clear in the pictures and the description. That's gone for £15 plus postage. Oh, another thing that's taken ages to sell. These are a pair of Adidas Originals jeans trainers. Had a bit of wear to the soles. Kind of like a nice suede trainer. Um, but yeah, it's like an age to sell. Nice size. UK size 10. Um, I think I paid a fiver for these. I think in a charity shop. Thought that was an absolute winner. I was onto the money. No, £20 plus postage. I think I had them for 35 initially. I don't know why they took so long to sell. The condition wasn't that bad, but for whatever reason, they just, it's like a dud listing. But anyway, they've gone now, so it's okay. Ooh, this was a good sale. Again, one from the personal collection, oddly. I bought this from a car boot sale way before I started reselling. We're talking 2015, maybe 2016. Because it was a nice model. I was into buying like 143rd style. 143rd scale cars, so like, you know, yay big. Um, had it on display for ages. Didn't realize the sort of desirability of this brand. This brand's called Look Smart. I know, it's just an odd brand, it's an odd title. But if you see anything Look Smart, buy it because I think I paid, hmm, I don't know, less than a fiver for this. I'm just gonna speculate that that's what I paid back in the day. Pretty sure I would have paid less than a fiver for this. That's gone for a hundred pounds. Plus, a hundred pounds, and only sort of yay big. And some of the more desirable models, like Lamborghinis, um, what else do they do? Maseratis. They can go for 150 plus. And this was in pretty much as new condition. Came with like the shrink wrap still. Had the case, no splits. Had the original box. Yeah, 100 quid plus postage. Incredible. I think I had it for 130 initially. Again, had like low ball offers. Finally, somebody offered me 100. I thought, do you know what? It's been for sale for over a year. Yes. <laughs> yes. Um, and yeah, I took it. So yeah, really happy with that. Oh my God. Right. You know, you know you're going to be watching a reseller video. Not me. <laughs> or maybe you are. But you'll watch a reseller video and they'll pick something up and you're like, ooh, that's done well for them. I'll pick it up too. Last year, people were on the sort of home edics bandwagon. You know, the shiatsu foot massagers. People were like picking these up left, right and centre. I'm thinking, okay, if, if it's working well for them, I'll do it the same. I bought two of these massager thingies. I've still got one of them and it's not selling. This sod took so long to sell. It's not worth, they're not worth picking up. I paid six quid for this in a charity shop and it was like new condition. This is the, uh, what, what is it called? The, the relaxing shiatsu cocoon foot massager with heat. I kind of look like furry cocoon you put your feet in. I used it. It's pretty good. Only went for £20 plus postage and it took, it's taken so long to sell and it took up so much room, I'm just not bothering again. But I've got another one there that's listed on Facebook Marketplace for a tenner. And I think I paid three quid for it. And there's just no, there's, the problem is there's no interest. It's a great bit of kit if you want to massage your feet. But maybe a second hand massage machine doesn't float well with people. Whatever the case is, the sell-through rate is pants, and I will not be picking those up again. And I recommend you don't pick up those. Maybe you like selling them. I don't know. But for me, they have been crap. And I wouldn't be avoiding them like the plague. This was a good one. This is probably one of my favourite sales of the month, actually. This is a vintage South Africa um, rugby shirt, long sleeve rugby jersey. Only a size medium. But like an oversized size medium, if that makes sense. Paid... Seven quid, I think, for this in a charity shop back in March, maybe. Um, knew the World Cup was coming up, stuck it up for 80 quid and just sort of let it gain interest. Had loads of lowball offers. I mean, we're talking like 20 quid. 
20, up for 80, 20 quid. I'm thinking, why did you even bother? Finally sold, full price to a fantastic person in the Netherlands, 80 pounds plus postage. And hopefully they wear it with pride for the World Cup. So yeah, really happy with that. But yeah, any long sleeve, older rugby shirts, cotton can do really well. I find the more modern ones that are short sleeve tend to not do so well but yeah if you find a, an older rugby shirt doesn't doesn't mean uh, blah, 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 it could be a national team it could be like a um, like a premiership team if there's a good price buy it because yeah there's a really good demand for them something a bit different now this is a myra um shower head yeah <laughs> um bought this on a bit of a bit of a whim uh i think i only paid a pound for it in a charity shop and it was basically like new without the external packaging so i paid a pound 13 pounds plus postage and it only took a few days to sell as well so yeah shower head again trying to expand my horizons a little bit um i'm now a shower seller no not really you say look it, you can't go wrong it's a shower head it hasn't been used it hasn't got lime scale in it there's no point testing it it's literally just a shower head as long as it's in good condition and it's a cheap price you can get a bit of money for it so it's all good I sold a couple of lots of these Porsche models. So these are by a company called Diagostini, I believe. You know, you see the adverts on TV where it's like, first issue, 99p. Subsequent issues, 9.99. I think this is one of those, but with Porsche models. So every week you get a new Porsche model. Again, sort of 143rd scale. Um, and I had a couple of lots of these. So this is a lot of three, more like classic models. They come for £13 plus postage. I then had another lot of more modern vehicles they gone for 20 pounds plus postage so yeah um again if you find these out and about and they're in good condition make sure the wing mirrors are intact because the wing mirrors snap off really easily um yeah you can get you can get good money from so 20 quid 13 quid per postage so it worked out about four five pounds per model so more than happy with that and in between those i sold these again another one that's been for sale for ages and i don't think i'd buy them again so these are a pair of nike um, their full name is the Air Woven Desert Boot, only a size four and a half. And I am trying my best to stay away from small sizes now. Anything under a six, I'm going to reconsider because the demand just isn't there for small sizes, small like women's sizes and men's. I like to think that a six women's is like an eight men's. So anything above that, fantastic. But anything below that, can hang around a bit. Anyway, I digress. They are from 2001, so they had a bit of age to them. They are rare. I think there's only one other for sale on eBay, period. Might have gone for £30 plus postage, and they took over a year to sell. Um, but I did pay £8 to them, so profit was okay. But the fact they've taken so long to sell, I don't think I'll pick them up again. Even though they're a bit of a curio, and vintage Nike stuff can do fine. The, again, the, the demand just really wasn't there. Sold some Mayers. Sold some Mayers. So these are the Mayers Men's Stretch Canvas. I think they're a cotton blend. Yeah, it must be. They got stretched. So cotton elastane. Um, nice big size. Width 42. Length 34. Is that? I can't see. I'm going to click on the thing. Uh, nope. Width 42. Length 32. So 42 reg. £20 plus postage. What was I saying earlier about sketches? Uh, these are the Sketches Cali Cyclers. There we go. Uh, wedge toe post sandals. UK size eight. Great size. Only gone for eighteen pound plus postage. Not in the best condition, but more than wearable. I don't know what I paid for them. Two, three pounds at a car boot sale. But yeah, I I don't know. Sketches. They're not. They're not my favourite brand to sell. So I, unless they're in fantastic condition and a good size and a good price I think I'll be avoiding them going forward I just I think they're a better way to invest just my experience just my opinion but yeah not the best brand um oh, I thought these would do better as well so these are so I'm holding my drinks bottle for no reason hang on let me have a little little swig there we go thought these would do a lot better these are a pair of vintage Nike women's three quarter length tracksuit bottoms but new with tags it's had other tags on them um, so like dead stock I guess I want to say I paid five or six pounds for these in a charity shop because they had the tags on you know fair enough I think I, had them, I think I had these up for 30 for the longest time and again they've taken an age to sell finally sold 20 pounds 
plus postage, so not awful. The time it took them to sell for six pounds into 20, again, I can invest a lot better than that. So I probably wouldn't pick them up again. This is a, this is a cool shirt, but I didn't wear it. So I could have put it on Vinted, but I have realized a better price on eBay. Cross-listed, had it for 20 quid on eBay. I think I had it up for nine on Vinted, just to, you know, just make it more attractive on Vinted. But eBay got the sale. So this is a Lowe's Australia. This is like an oversized novelty um, short sleeve shirt. Kind of like surfer, but it had a kangaroo on it. It had like a shrimp on a barbecue. Not literally on the barbecue, like cooking the barbecue. It's a weird shirt. Um, yeah, Lowe's seems to be a quite a sort of desirable sort of um, shirt brand, but like for novelty shirts. We're not talking like Mambo, but you know, like there's, there's a, definitely a desirability factor with it. 20 quid plus postage, one from the personal sort of wardrobe, but um, yeah, eBay got to sell. Uh, Quicksilver jeans, not something I would have typically picked up, but this came, this is one of the things from the big bag of clothing I got from my friend Nina, which you might have seen in my last video. Uh, they gone for £17.50 plus postage, which is a lot better than the other uh, solds, which are like sort of £10 or £12. So yeah, good photos, good description, can carry the sale through, and a good size too, 36 uh, width. 32 inside length. A uh, couple more Hot Wheels. This is a McLaren F1 GTR from 2017, £9 plus postage. And this is a Toyota Corolla uh, AE86 from 2013, £13 plus postage. Uh, vintage Majorette, this is called the Gru, Gru Telescopic um, Extending Mobile Crane. Wasn't in the best condition, had a couple of like uh, parts snapped off, made it very clear. £13 plus postage, and I think I paid £2 at the car boot sale, so happy with that. Uh, saw some ping golf trousers, these are the Sensor Cool uh, in navy blue, 36 reg, width 36, length 31, £16 and 19p plus postage. Again, must have been like a 10% offer. Uh, what did I pay for those? Three quid, so not too bad. Again, another £16 and 19p sale. This is a Maisto Ford GT90. Uh, V12 for 118 scale, so nice big scale um, diecast model. I paid a fiver for this at a car boot sale. I just wanted to like have the model for a bit and keep it until it sold. Well, it took a couple of weeks to sell and then it sold again on offer. £16.19 plus postage. Cool model, but I just haven't got the room. So if I can enjoy it for a little bit while it's for sale, I'm good with that. Joe Browns. Again, there's a brand I have like mixed feelings for. This is a Joe Browns women's, uh, like a sort of grey and pink checked blazer. Uh, size 14, 18 quid plus postage, uh, and that sold really quickly as well. So I probably could have gone for a bit more, but I wasn't quite sure how well it would do. And that cost me hmm, maybe four quid in the charity shop, so not too bad. Um, so yeah, now I know the sort of baseline of that. I might buy them more, but yeah, Joe Brands is a funny one. Yeah, so I find this stuff either sells really quickly or takes an age. So maybe I, I've just got lucky. I don't know. These things happen. Sold some Sunspell, but not a polo shirt. These are some Sunspell swim shorts. Um, I don't think I had a single offer on these in the space, in the space, in the time they were up for sale until this offer came in and I accepted it. So I had them up for 60 quid, which is probably a bit too high to be honest, seeing as all the other ones were between 30 and 40. Oops. Bright orange, double XL size, a really, really good size, lovely condition. Paid three quid for them, or 350, something like that, in a charity shop. <laughs> um, but yeah, I, I was going greedy with these. I was going greedy. Um, finally sold, £45 plus postage. So yeah, now I know that's what the sort of sell-through rate is. A sell-through rate, sell rate. Now I know that's what they kind of go for. That's what I have in my head going forward. I might find some more in the future. I might have to pay more for them. Probably will. But at least I now know what the sort of going rate is. This is a cool sell, actually. So this is the Berghaus C71 series. That's what it's called. Um, rucksack. This is actually my wife's rucksack that she used on World Challenge, which is like a sort of uh, international adventure sort of camp thing um, ages ago. She would have been 18, so yeah, over 10 years ago now. Uh, I think I had it up for 60 quid. Had a message from the uh, from a buyer saying, would you take 50? I said, yep, that's fine. And could I come and collect it? I said, well, I can come, come meet you. Basically, he lives in Torquay. I live in Newton Abbott. So pretty close, met halfway, exchanged it, happy days. Which is fantastic because I was really not looking forward to packing that up. <laughs> so 
remove the uh, the issue of the postage. Yeah, in-person exchange, and he left positive feedback, so it's all good. I don't typically deal with crockery and porcelain because I just don't like it. In fact, I sold a, um, a similar thing to this. So this is a Groovy Chick Bang on the Door mug. Um, kind of like a bolo, because they do have a good following. Uh, paid a pound, that's gone for £10 for its postage. No issues. But I sold another one recently. I had a message yesterday saying that it had arrived, but it's all smashed up. I always send them in the same way, so if I can't get a box for it, I'll just bubble wrap the crap out of it. Packaging paper, make it like a football size, so it's like intact. For some reason, this one didn't survive. So I don't know if it had been like weakened previously and the postal system was just too much for it. So that's the tenor I'm not getting back. But this one fortunately was fine. Um, arrived there, positive yeah, received, all good. But yeah, Groovy Chick mugs. Groovy Chick sort of mugs, um, tumblers, bowls, that sort of thing. They've got a real sort of like cult following. I think from a nostalgic point of view, being like a sort of Y2K um, thing. But I know my sister had loads of these. Um, when we were younger and got rid of them. I'm thinking, oh, think of all the money we could have made. <laughs> but yeah, Groovy Chick, bang on the door. Just keep an eye out because they can sell pretty well. Uh, so all these Sketches tone up boots. I get another pair of Sketches. 17 quid plus postage. I think I paid four pounds for these in a charity shop. Took an age to sell as well, but again, probably not the right season. So I probably would pick these up again, to be fair. Um, they were in lovely condition. Just, yeah, they didn't, didn't like list them in the right season, but hey, it's all good. I thought these would do a bit better as well. So these are a pair of Nike Total 93, no, Total 90 Shift. So I think they're based on the Total 92, might be wrong there. Um, youth size, I think that's where, where it went wrong. It's youth size football boots. Not too bad condition, only a UK size five. Wouldn't have paid more than two quid or so at a car boot sale. They've gone for 18 pounds plus postage. So again, not bad, but again, they've taken an age to sell, like over half a year. And I would have thought a vintage football boot in decent condition would have taken a lot less time to sell. But again, I think the fact it wasn't an adult size let it down a little bit. But I'll, I'll know for next time. Uh, another one thing that aged to sell as a, as a trend forming here. This is a this is probably the oldest clothing item I've sold to date. So this is a an H bar C California ranch wear Palm Springs Western shirt. Wow. To give it its full title. So, vintage western shirt, I believe it's from the 60s. Either the 60s or the 70s, so real good bit of age to it. Immaculate condition, like not a moth bite, not a stain, nothing. And it was white. So I don't know how it stayed in such good condition, but there we go. I paid, I don't know, maybe £4 for this in a charity shop. It's gone for £37 first postage, which is great. But I did have it up for a lot more. I think I had it up for like 60 or 70 just based on how other ones had sold but got a bit greedy didn't sell brought the price down 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 finally got an offer for 37 plus postage i think it was up for like 45 and i was just sick of seeing it when i went into that box i thought yeah that's fine get it gone and still a nice bit of profit so i can't complain really this is a nice copy fine this is a pair of nike air max 270s um obviously air max desirable shoe uh men's size nine yes finally a nice size paid a fiver yeah and they've gone for 45 pounds plus postage i think had them, up for, had them up for 50 and i think a few days went past and somebody offered me 45 i thought well that's that's absolutely fine so weren't in like perfect condition but were uh, yeah, in d decent enough condition so yeah 45 quid plus postage from five nice uh i think this one's actually from the same car boot sale so this is a what is this called it's a childish theme park hoodie. I'll put, put the picture in here. TGF Pro. I don't know the YouTubers that do this. I'm not into that, watching that sort of thing. But apparently it's quite a known YouTube channel. Don't ask me. Anyway, paid three quid for this at a car boot sale. Knew it was um, I think a decent thing. I think John Luke, actually. I think John Luke used to sport one of these. Some of his videos. So that kind of struck a chord. I thought, well, if he's wearing it, then surely it's worth sort of investigating. And it was. Paid three pounds. Size double XL, lovely big size. That's gone for thirty pound plus postage. Uh, this is a vintage. Is it vintage? Yeah, I put vintage there. It might not be though. Hmm. Now I'm doubting myself. Anyway, it's a Quicksilver Polytech fleece, uh, size medium, embroidered. I don't know what I would pay for this. Maybe a fiver in a charity shop. I can't actually rem remember. Um, that's gone for twenty five pounds plus postage. 
on the GSP over to Australia. Sold a couple of vintage Matchbox cars. These are sort of the larger scale ones. These are the Speed Kings or Super Kings. They're called, this one's called the Marauder. Two colours. One's in really good condition. One not so much. They've gone on the GSP. £13 plus postage over to America. These were a cool find. Again, another one where I've listed them. Sat for ages. Nothing has happened. Like nothing at all. No offers. No Barely any watches. Nothing. And then suddenly, sold. Full price. Vintage Adidas football boots, soft ground from 1994, so real bit of age to them, size 12, and these basically owe me nothing because everything else I bought from that charity shop I've sold for profit. So in theory I would have paid like two or three quid, but really they owe me nothing. £60 plus postage, so really happy with that. But again, didn't think they were ever gonna sell. And then finally they did, so yeah, I guess sometimes you just gotta wait for the right buyer, but Happy to see them go, nice bit of profit, we're all good. Right, I'm almost done, I promise. I'll try and speed up a little bit. A uh, pair of Rab walking trousers, these are only a UK size 8 ladies. These are called the Valkyries. Um, I believe they were zip-offs, but I can't remember now. Paid like a couple of quid at the car boot sale, £17 plus postage. Sold another vintage Hot Wheels car, this is called a Sizzler. It's basically like a, it's almost like a Scalectrics car, um, but it's charged by a battery rather than like a, um, a groove in the sort of the track. Paid a pound at the car itself from a dealer uh, that didn't know what he had. Always like getting a one-up on the dealers. Um, paid a pound, £20 plus postage. So some more Mayers. Hey, hey, Mayers are back. Mm, kind of. Just be careful what size you get. Uh, these are a pair of Mayers, sorry, Mayer Rios. Smaller size. Width 32, length 32. I paid £3 for these. 3 50 Something like that. They've gone for £22 plus postage. Um, so these Werner Kern dance shoes, um, men's leather dance, like indoor dance shoes, like ballroom dance shoe, that's what I'm thinking of, size 12, bit of wear to the bottoms are not too bad, £21 plus postage. This was a good one. So I picked this camera up from a car boot sale maybe about a month ago, so Samsung NX1000, 20.3 megapixel, really nice camera actually, I was tend to keep it but I just thought oh, there's no point. Um, had it up for 130, someone offered me 115 a few days after listing it, took it. 115 quid plus postage from 20. Loving it. Loving life. And I got positive feedback too, so always helps. Now I thought I was onto a winner when it comes to cricket bats. I thought I'd branch out into cricket bats, but this cricket bat has taken an age to sell as well, so I'm gonna think twice about picking them up in the future. This is a vintage gun and more um the autograph bat. Pay two quid for this. Uh, car boot sale. You should have seen the packaging, it was hilarious. But make sure it's nice and safe. £50 plus postage, so a really good return rate. It just took an age to sell, so I'll just bear, I'll just bear that in mind going forward. These are a pair of Nike Mercurial Superfly 6 Academy football boots with the sock, gives it a bit more desirability. Uh, UK size 7, so you know, a smaller size. I paid a fiver for these in a charity shop, and I thought there'd be a lot more, so I jumped at the chance they were a fiver. They come for £25 plus postage. This was cool. This was one of my fastest sales ever. I probably could have got a bit more, but I priced it at the higher end of the what was there anyway, so go figure. It's a vintage Radio 1 Roadshow mug. So would have dated from the 80s, I think, late 80s. Paid 50p at a car boot sale, 13 quid plus postage. And as far as I'm aware, that hasn't been smashed in the post. Fingers crossed. So yeah, glad that one survived. The, the low, low value one, Obviously just died, but it must have been slightly weakened anyway. But anyway, yeah. Radio 1 Roadshow mugs. With mugs, I don't have much luck with mugs. But it's definitely the sort of the um, the topic that they convey. If it's like a des desirable topic, like, I don't know, Power Rangers or Vintage Radio or, I don't know, um, what else is popular from like the 90s? Hero Turtles. There's more desirability there, but just generic older mugs. Not so much. Just my opinion. Another pair of Converse. These are these are cool. I paid ten pounds for these at car boot sale, just because they were a bit different and they're in fantastic condition. So these are called the Chuck Taylor high tops, obviously. The um, Fear Love limited edition, size seven, so a nice unisex size. Thirty-five pounds plus posted. So yeah, more than happy with that. Paid a tenner. Didn't take too long to sell. More than happy. Sold another lot of the Diagostini Porsche models. Uh, Eighteen pounds plus postage. Again, the remaining four that I had for my sort of collection. One more, not a great sale, but we'll end on this one. This is a Levi's 100% cotton denim, almost like a sort of chambray dress. Is it chambray or is it chiffon? Have I titled that wrong? 
Anyway, it's a mini dress. It's like a denim look. I paid three quid. It sold for 15 plus postage. Oh, and breathe. The first sale of September is a banger, but you'll have to wait until a few weeks to see that. And that is August. Oh, my gosh. My Burberry golf trousers are sold. Only like a year after uh, listing them. Awesome. Again, you have to wait the next month. That is it. Gosh. Gosh, that's a long video. This is going to be a really long video. I'm really, really sorry. Um, yeah, August is a really good month for sales. Again, had to really work hard for it. Um, obviously, around my sort of day job. But yeah, persistent pays off. Currently, though, eBay is being rubbish. But hey, pigs and troughs, it's all good. So if you got this far, thank you so much for watching. Hopefully, there's some information in there that you can use to, you know, enhance your own reselling um, buying tactics. But yeah, really trying to sort of um, improve my sort of um, range of things I'm buying to resell. I know it's mainly clothing and footwear and getting rid of like old Hot Wheels cars, but I am trying to branch out into other realms just to see how well they do. It's going okay, but honestly, there's so much to learn. I'll never know everything, but I'd like to have a broad spectrum of like knowledge when it comes to going to a car boot sale store or going into, into a charity shop, just trying to minimize leaving a bolo behind, if that makes sense. But anyway, I've talked for too long, I need a cold drink. Thank you so much for watching. Um, please do like, comment and subscribe and until my next video, take care and I'll see you soon. Goodbye.